has lavished on us that now we can be called the sons and daughters of God. So we sing the song. Hallelujah. In your home, join with us and sing and sing. Hallelujah. For the Lord has mighty Good evening to you. My name is Apostle Helen Dawkenu of Rivers of Life Bible Church. Yes, I am preaching you. through Majesty Christian Lord. Television Network. And uh, I believe that God is with you and God is busy also with you and your family. Well, as it is our, uh, we like call it custom, <laughs> uh, I would want you to uh, relax and uh, let us uh, dig the word of the Lord a little bit this evening before even uh, uh, we begin to retire for the day. So uh, take your Bible and let us go to the book of uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 61. Hallelujah. This section is called The Miracles of Jesus Christ and I always want to bring to focus what Jesus is doing in our time and what he did before and then what he is yet to do so that you can know your stand and know the power behind the gospel that you have trusted in. And if that same Jesus Christ of yesteryears saved people, if he healed people, if he delivered people, if he made people uh, free, uh, set them free from whatsoever is said uh, or was destroying their life, he that same Jesus is capable of ministering to you. He will also see you through. He will, he will make things happen for you. He's a God that loves us so much that he cares so much about whatever happens in our life that he wouldn't want to make investment in us by creating us and allow us just to go through disappointment. So this evening, I want to comfort so many people. I want to strengthen so many people. I want to be able to jack you up, to help you come back to that level that Jesus will want you to be as a child of God. So irrespective of what you are going through, I want you to know that hope is on the way. And that hope is coming to you right now through the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's take the scripture from the Gospel of Isaiah 61. And I read, the Bible says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has set me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Now verse 3, he said, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise. For the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. So in this topic, uh, I, I want to talk about uh, comforting those that are mourning. Amen. Comfort is coming to those who are mourning. Why? You see, the purpose of the, uh, of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to humanity is first and foremost to, to comfort every single one that mourn in Zion. It's to comfort those who, who, who are mourning. It's to encourage those who are mourning. It's to set people free from everything that have become a mournful situation in their life. As we know 
that the world we are living today is full of ups and downs. It is not easy uh, to, 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 it is not easy. Life, is, life is, uh, is not very easy to live. What I'm trying to say is that life is not, is not very easy. The world is not getting better, as Jesus even said in the book of Matthew 24. Uh, the world is not getting better. So mournful situations are coming up more and more. Uh, things that are disheartening are happening more and more. People are going through torments and going through black, going through mournful things. Uh, some, 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 some devilish things are happening to people who are good. So people are no more exciting. People are, no, people are more discouraged than being excited. People, people are being more sorrowful than being joyful. And then, and then all of these things, all of these things are, are happening in the world that we are in today. Uh, so because of this is happening around, the entire world and humanity are mourning because of issues that are troubling. The entire humanity, they are mourning. Families are mourning. Individuals are mourning. Uh, 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 that even the economy we are in is, 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 is a mournful economy now. Kings and queens, they are all mourning. Presidents and even subjects uh, are mourning over one thing or the other. So uh, it becomes like a trend. It becomes like a, 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 like, 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 like a, what we have we are waking up to see. Uh, but what thing I want you to know is that no matter how mournful your situation has become, no matter what is grieving your heart, you see God is still in control. Hallelujah. Uh, God, God, God is seeing us and God, 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 God knows what we are going through. Uh, so God wouldn't I want you or me to throw in the towel irrespective of all the bad, bad news we are hearing, things that are happening all over. But he, he wants us to still hold up our faith and know that he is there to comfort anyone that mourns. Hallelujah. He's there. He's there. Hallelujah. He is there to comfort anyone that is dis, dis, being d, d, dissatisfied. You know, to mourn means to express grief or sorrow. To mourn, it means to, 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 to be sorrowful or to even lament. You see, uh, mourning may be expressed through weeping and, uh, uh, or through audible sounds like, <clears throat> like oh, oh, you see, or, or through sobbing. There are people who are not crying out, but they are sobbing. Are you hearing me? And there are some who are silent, but they are the inward silent is full of grief. So mourning depicts uh, or means expressing expressing some sorrowful things or lamenting over something. Hallelujah. So what I'm trying to say is that it is not something very pleasant. It is not a comfortable situation for anybody to mourn. So uh, that's why Jesus said that uh, uh, in, in, in Matthew 24, calamities are going to happen. Things that will bring this happening are going to happen. Things that will make us become regretful are going to happen because the world is not getting better. And if we look at the present world of today, we can see how many deaths recently, so many deaths are happening everywhere. Many prominent people have died. Are you hearing me? So uh, people are mourning more than rejoicing. But today, I want you to know that comfort is coming your way. Comfort is coming your way. Comfort is coming your way. Hallelujah. So Jesus said in that book of Isaiah 61, verse 2 and 3, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because, he, because he, it has come upon me to comfort all that mourn in Zion, to give them back their beauty, to give them back their joy, to give them back a name so that, so that God can be glorified. So God wants to give you back your joy. God wants to give you back your, your, your beauty because when people are mourning they, they, they become ugly they become you know they become they become uh, 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 sorrowful they become they, they are lamenting so the 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 beauty they used to have is no more there the joy that they used to have is no more there so they are 
grieving. And that is the situation and the circumstance that is befalling so many people right now in different parts of the world. Are you hearing me, somebody? But one good news I have for you this evening is that the spirit of the Lord is still the same. It does not change. If God said that, 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 that his spirit in our life is to comfort us, is to, is to make us to overcome, is to, is, to, is to encourage us, is to help us, to, to make us come out of the mournful situation, you better take it. You better take it. Because the, what, does it, what does it profit to, to, to be so mournful? What does it profit to grieve and grieve and grieve over circumstances and situations you are not in control about? What thing for sure? You see, grieving moments are bound to come. Mournful moments, you know, as the heaven or as the, as, the, as the earth exists, mournful situations are bound to come. Even when you do not want them, but they come somehow. But one, well, one, you, what you have to understand is that there is already an assurance. God is saying that he has already sent for the spirit to come and comfort us. In other words, we're not supposed to, to, to diminish beyond uh, the, the level we're supposed to be because we are mourning. So to, 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 to comfort means to strengthen. It means to, to, to invigorate. It means to cheer or to console or to relieve somebody from depression or trouble. So that is what to comfort means. God wants to strengthen somebody. God wants to console somebody. God wants to relieve you from your depression and from your trouble situation. Are you hearing me, somebody? That's, so anything that has set itself to rob you, rob you of your joy, anything that has been positioned to rob you of any of the promises that Jesus has made for those who are his children, I rebuke that in this hour in your life in Jesus' name. Anything that has robbed you of your joy, that has has given you pain and have made you to be rocked up in pain in place of joy. I cut that thing off from your life right now in Jesus' name. Anything that has robbed you of your God-given beauty, and instead of you to look beautiful, you are not looking very, very ugly because of merciful events. I command that thing in Jesus' name to be broken out of your life. Whosoever and whatsoever have exchanged your beauty for ugliness because they just want you to look only ugly, ugly, ugly. They envy the beauty that is radiating out of your life. I break the power of that thing right now. I curse it in the name and I rebuke it in Jesus name. Receive back your joy wherever you are. Receive back the ability to praise God. Receive back the, your, your, your enablement to be healthy. Receive back whatever the devil have taken away from you. Receive back that in Jesus name. I'm here loaded with comfort to comfort you. I'm here being jacked up by the spirit of the Lord to console you, to, to, to help you not to lament over those situations anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't know whom I'm called to minister to or to reach out. You know, there are so many things that, that, that always cause mournfulness to be around us. Like, there are some people, you see, it is their custom or it is like their culture to mourn than to enjoy. Are you such a person who like to mourn than to enjoy? There are some people, it is even part and parcel of their, their lifestyle that, 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 that they become, but it's a habit they have cultivated. They have the habit of mourning. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't like anything joyful around. They, they always complain about one thing or the other. Uh, they, 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 they always want to portray themselves on, on, on black, black clothes. There are some people, there's nothing again in, in, their, in their wardrobe apart from things that are not uh, or, or bright. Always dark clothes that they wear. So these are sort of people who love to, to, to mourn. They love mourn. They love mournful situation. Are you hearing me? Because what you wear can determine what comes to you. What you open up yourself onto can determine what comes to you. Are you. So I'm trying to say here that you have to be very careful what you wear. You have to be very careful the sort of environment. Because there are some people who like to celebrate death, death, death. And when you begin to celebrate death, death will hit you. Because what you love will come to you. If you love life, life will come to you. But if you love death, death will come to you. So you have to be 
very, very careful what you celebrate. Because if you go about wearing all of those dark clothes, looking always very, very, very uh, tattered, and, and being taking that pitiful situation, mode of lifestyle, so people will always, always mourn with you. Then you will go about having mournful events. There are some people, there is not good morning in their mouth. The moment you say good morning to them, they already have evil words to speak about. They already have evil stories to narrate. They already have sorrowful, sad events. As if, you know, their whole lifestyle only in circles surround mourn, 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 mourn. So, when people are this way, mournful events will always come their way. But hear ye the word of the Lord. There are also some people who's, who are mourning because their mourn, mournfulness is self-imposed. There are people who are self, they, they self-imposed mourners. That means, that means every morning they don't say anything good in their life. They don't see anything good in their family. They don't see anything good in the environment they are in. So the only profess and what you speak out will surely take shape. Because the words we speak, they are spirit. So either they will bring life or they will bring death. So some people are going through mournful situations based on some of the things which I have just mentioned. You see, so what are, why, why, why must people mourn? People mourn when they have lost a loved one. People mourn when they have lost... A lost, uh, lost a person. So maybe somebody who, who they know. People mourn when uh, they have lost a remarkable event. Something very remarkable have happened or they have lost it. So they begin to mourn. So people mourn when they have lost a relationship or an association. So you see them mourning and mourning and mourning as a sign of sorrowing, as, as a grief, you know, because they have lost something which is precious. People mourn when they have lost businesses or anything that is precious to them. Others mourn because they have lost an investment. Are you hearing me, somebody? So, so many factors can make people to mourn. There are others who mourn because they have lost their precious job. The job where, 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 where they are getting good salaries and they can afford to take good, 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 good care of their family members. They have lost them. Some lost their relationship, you know. They were in a very good relationship that they can afford to be happy and something, somehow, because they were not able to keep their mouth shut. They begin to speak everything about their relationship to the to Miss, the Miss, Miss B, Miss B. Not knowing that Miss B is envying what they have. And before you know it, Miss B snagged their husband or Miss B snagged their wives and then, or Miss B snagged their wife and then they lost that good relationship. So people are bound to mourn when they have lost everything that is good in their life. Some lost, some have lost titles or position of influence. So like the politicians, when they are aspiring to become presidents and they cannot become, so they lose because they put so much money, they born and they, and they become grieved. And others are mourning because they have lost good health. Where, what, where, which area of life are you mourning today? If some are mourning because they have lost health. They, you know, they, you have gone to the doctor and the doctor cannot give you any good result, can any good report about your situation. Your health have determined you used to be so strong and now you cannot do the things you used to do before. So you are now mourning. There are others who mourn over their city or nation when calamity have hit them. They mourn because they, so the, the, the city has become a, 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 a corrupt place or the city have become a place that is devastated. We see people like that, like a, a Nehemiah mourned over Jerusalem and, and the rest of them. Are you hearing me somebody? So to mourn is part of life. It is part of what we must expect as we begin to grow. The only people who don't really mourn are maybe children. But any full-fledged adult must be able to know that even mournful situations hit you when you have not planned it. You know, another aspect of money which I love are those who really mourn they mourn because of their sin they mourn over their sin that means they they have lost the state of righteousness they have lost righteousness with God and now they are mourning because uh, because they want to regain their stand so some people will go about fasting and praying because they want to be restored. So such are the people God spoke in the book of Matthew when he said, Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. But this hour, I am not making it only relevant to those who have lost their righteousness, but somehow along the line, yeah, you may have fallen according to the category I have mentioned. I don't know what you are mourning right now in your life. I don't know where hope have, have got out of your life. The good news I have is that you shall be comforted. Hope is on the way. God 
will give you another chance. God allowed you to lose whatever it is so that you can be rectified. God will give you a better something more than what you have lost. God will not allow that ruin to eat you up. I say you are coming up. You are coming up whether you are a man, whether you are a woman. I don't know what you lost. Maybe some of you young men, you are really enjoying your business and now you can't enjoy it again because you have lost it. But I have a word from God for you that God will help you to come back to the level where you were before, even more. Can you say a big amen? Hallelujah. It may be some of you are mourning because you've lost somebody who is so precious to you and maybe that is a person who, 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 who is like your Alpha and Omega who provides everything that you need. But listen to me. God allowed that thing to go because he has something better. God allowed that situation to come. He is not asleep. Neither is he dead. Neither is he schizophrenic. He allowed that situation to come your way because he wants to do something better. I know it is not very easy when people go through more full situations, but be thou encouraged right now in Jesus' name. I want you to get up from where you have put up your sack clothes and put up your morning clothes, your black clothes, and put up your ashes because you really want to mourn professionally. God is commanding you to get up. God is commanding you to forget about that sort of mourning. Do not mourn like those who have no comfort. Listen to the word of the Lord right now. In the book of Matthew 5 verse 4, he said, Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Comfort is coming your way. Psalm 30 verse 5, he says that weeping may have endured for a long time, but joy is coming in your morning. Your morning is yet about to come. Let those who are rejoicing, rejoice now. And you are now mourning. But listen to me, your weeping will not be all the day long. It is just for an appointed time. Hallelujah. 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 Marco told the Bible said in the book of Revelation 21, verse 4, he said, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. This is what God is saying to you. No matter the level of your mourning, God is going to wipe away your tears. God is going to comfort you. Comfort is on the way. God is an expert in, in comfort. When he says it, he means it. He does not forsake himself. Neither would he forsake his word. You are so precious before the Lord that he will not allow only mournful situation to be happening your way. Hallelujah. Hope is coming. Hope is coming. Come on, lift up your hand and receive hope from heaven. Ah, where else would your hope come from? Apart from heaven. Where else can your comfort come from? Apart from heaven. If you put your confidence to receive comfort from men, men may not be able to comfort you the way God will want to comfort you. I repeat again to comfort it means to console it means to strengthen god wants to strengthen somebody and you are the one come on receive it receive it in jesus name wherever you are and you are listening to this broadcast right now i want you to pick up your phone and give me a call on 020 3374 i am jacked up and i am ready highly anointed to pray for you right now and as i as i agree with heaven something will happen to you where you are downcast you will will receive enablement. Where you have been, you know, snubbed and you think that that is the end of your life and you are in your rag clothes and you are trying to suffocate yourself because it's like hope cannot come. I want you to know that hope is on the way. Hallelujah. The Bible said in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 B, it said, you should not sorrow like those who have no faith. You shouldn't sorrow like those. You shouldn't mourn like, like those who have no more hope. They, they feel that there is no way hope can come back. So when people are mourning, there are certain things God expects them to do. God expects them to believe God can turn their situation around for good. So I am speaking to you right now to believe that God can turn your situation around for good. God expects those who mourn not to mourn without hope. God expects those who mourn to make positive confessions with their mouth. Because when you begin to confess, Romans 10, 9, the Bible says, If thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God raised him from dead, thou shalt be saved. In other words, no matter the mournful situation in your life, 
you can still be saved. You can still be restored. You can still be delivered. You don't need to throw in the, car, the, the towel and feel that, that is the end of your life. Hope is on the way. Your latter days will be greater than your former. God wants you to be restored so that his name shall be glorified in your life. That is a purpose. He doesn't derive pleasure in seeing you going through that agony. So he wants to comfort whoever is going through a mournful situation right now. God wants to comfort you. God wants to give you the oil of joy in place of sorrow. He wants to give you the, the, the garment of, 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 of joy in place of the garment of heaviness. He wants to give you that garment that will cause you to go about praising him all the days of your life. Because when you praise God, God is being made happy. And then that's the time unbelievers can come to him. But what would God gain when you go only through sorrow? This hour, this hour, may the Lord God of comfort, may he comfort every one of you who is mourning. I don't know where you are mourning and what is making you to mourn. From those who have lost those who are important in their lives, to those who have lost relationships, to those who have lost investments. God Almighty, the great El Shaddai, the God of the heaven and the earth, the God who is mighty enough to confront that which is making you sorrowful. May he comfort you. In the name of Jesus Christ whom I serve. Receive your comfort. Receive your consolation. Receive back your strength. In Jesus name. I pray. Say big amen. Well I thank you for having listened. And I bless you that you tuned up. Don't forget. This is Majestic Christian Television Network. And my name is Apostle Helen Rudokin of Rivers of Life Bible Church. So in case you have enjoyed this preaching and you will want to hear more, please continue to listen because other men of God are in the studio as well who will be bringing the word of the Lord. So we also encourage you to pick up your phone and give us a call on 020 when you will want any of these men or women of God in the studio to pray for you. Prayer is going on live from any part of the world. We can receive your call. Only that you have to put 31, which is our, our country code, and then they will pray for you. God richly bless you. And bye. There's healing in your presence, Father. Yeah.